Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I took the plan B two days after, you know, Ryan and I were intimate. I wasn't pregnant. I didn't know if I was pregnant or not. Most likely not, but my sister just wanted to educate me into my options. Um, and that day I said, you know, I can't put myself on the back burner right now. I have to prioritize myself. So prioritizing a child, I'm not there yet. You guys, that is no surprise considering the fact that a lot of people still believe that Gypsy is not ready to be a mother. Now the one that is allegedly singing loud and proud about how unfit Gypsy is, is her own mother, Christy Blanchard. Now it is being said, you guys, I got some tea. It is all alleged. And let me tell you, it is hot, okay? It is being said that CPS has already reached out to Gypsy and Ken to set up a meeting to discuss whether or not support is needed. So it sounds like maybe CPS has already opened up a case on Gypsy. And I'm pretty sure that they can do that for the simple fact that Gypsy is on parole right now for a vicious crime. So technically, Gypsy is still a ward of the state until she is officially off probation. And that will not be for another year or so. You guys, it is also being alleged that Gypsy cannot stand Christy or Mia. And there is some jealousy going on between the two sisters. So the only thing that I'm thinking, does that mean that Mia will not be a godmother to her stepsister's baby? And also, you guys, it is being said that the plan is for Christy to tell Parole that Gypsy cannot stay there anymore. So basically, that would leave Gypsy having to go back to the big house. And what happens then, in that case, the baby would either go to Ken or her parents. Now, remember, guys, this is all alleged, okay? Now, it's also being said that Ryan is being strung along by Gypsy because she is trying to keep him to the side just in case. She needs to use him as a backup plan, needs to use his address. She might have to go back to Ryan, you guys. Because let me tell you, word on the bayou is that the tension in that Blanchard home is so thick and so negative. Now, allegedly, every time Gypsy gets into it with either Ken or Christy, she always calls Ryan and she allegedly plays victim. And that's why it's being said that Ryan lashed out the way he did telling Ken to get a job. And what was really crazy was for the simple fact that it's being said that Gypsy is feeding Ryan all this information, saying all these negative things behind um, Christy's back, behind Ken's back. The moment that Ryan reacts publicly, Gypsy acts like she doesn't know what the hell Ryan is talking about. Now, Gypsy, y'all, she's still playing these same manipulation games. The same manipulation games that she was playing with Nick. I mean, come on. Same game, just different players. It's all the same. But it just seems like everybody in this whole situation is just playing a game with each other. So, I mean, I'm just going to sit back and be entertained by the games that everybody's playing with each other. You guys, it's also being said that Christy has been having these conversations with Ken behind Gypsy's back. And allegedly, Ken is ready to take full custody of the baby the moment that he sees Gypsy using his baby for monetary gain, for manipulation, or any of her scandalous schemes, allegedly. And it's being said that Christy will back him up, y'all. It is also being said that if it came down to it, Christy would kick Gypsy out and move in Ken and the baby 
as long as she has control. Now, what did I just tell y'all in a recent video? I told y'all that I believe deep down inside that Christy would choose Ken over Gypsy. Because y'all, I'm not going to lie. It just seems like there's something that's weird that's going on between Christy and Ken. I mean, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I have a few ideas. And I wouldn't put nothing past these people. Nothing at all. So, it is being said that Gypsy did find out about some of these side conversations about Christy and Ken making plans for the baby's future. And these plans may not necessarily involve Gypsy, y'all. They're saying that she got all riled up. She started crying. And she started complaining about having pains. And saying that they were miscarriage pains, allegedly, y'all. Now, y'all, this is going to blow y'all mind. It is being said that Gypsy and Ken will be engaged pretty soon. Maybe, you guys, by the end of the week, allegedly, okay? Engaged. Yes, that's right. And this girl isn't even divorced yet. Her divorce will not be finalized. Or the soonest it could be finalized is by the end of January 2025. So you mean to tell me that she's going to be engaged to her ex-fiance again while she's still married to her husband? This woman is crazy. But that's not even the kicker. It's being said that Ken is being forced to propose to Gypsy allegedly. Gypsy wants Ken to propose to her. So the public can see it. So she can feel like he won't betray her. That he won't leave her. And Gypsy has to understand just because a man proposes to you. Doesn't mean that he's going to be with you forever. I think that she's really doing this. Because deep down inside. She knows that this baby belongs to Ryan. And she is scared to death. And she's trying to do whatever she can. To try to hold on to him. Trap him, whatever. But what she doesn't understand is she probably doesn't have to worry. Because I really don't think that Kenny Boy cares. Because in my opinion, I feel like he's only there for the money anyway. And also it's being said that Gypsy is so paranoid about Ken and his phone and him cheating. You know, I really do believe that Ken be getting around. Like some of these accusations about Cowboy, Steve Wood, and others may be true. Because if they weren't, then why would she be acting like this? And it's being said that her father Rod is stuck in the middle. He's basically telling Gypsy, if you have to check the man's phone and you don't trust him, then why are you with him? But Gypsy's going to do everything that she can to control Ken because it is also being said that Gypsy is threatening him, telling him that she will keep him out of the baby's life. And that's basically if he doesn't do as she says. So that makes sense why she's wearing a wifey shirt because Gypsy wore this wifey shirt, took a picture with this melon basically saying that's about the size of her baby. And it just confused a lot of people. So maybe this clears things up. She's giving us a hint. Now, all I got to say is that Christy and Ken better watch out, especially Christy and the things that she is doing. Because we all know how Gypsy does not take to mamas. Like she does not like to be controlled. It is also being said that she specifically does not like the way Christy is trying to control her. Now, in my opinion, I really do think that they are playing with fire. They are playing with fire. Like, don't be naive. Just because you guys are related to her, associated with her, anybody is disposable. She proved that. I mean, this girl unalived her own mother. Nobody's safe around her. Now, with the baby, some people think that the baby is Ryan's. Now, I don't know if you guys were aware, but allegedly... Um, Amelia Bird's girlfriend spoke out 
And she basically said that Gypsy reached out to Amelia um, and let her know that she was pregnant. And when she told her she was pregnant, she told her that she was pregnant by Ryan. Now, a little bit after that, she came back again and said that her and Ken were having a baby, allegedly, y'all. Now, when Zora, which is Amelia Bird's girlfriend, confronted Gypsy, she said, I thought you said you were having a baby with Ryan. She goes, oh, I didn't tell you. I had my period. It was a false positive. But me and Ken are having a baby now. And for those of you who do not know who Amelia Bird is, Amelia Bird is one of Gypsy's friends that is in prison and she is serving two life sentences for the unaliving of her mother and the attempted unaliving of her father. The story is identical to Gypsy's. It was her and her boyfriend planned to do the act and Gypsy was advocating for her. This is someone that Gypsy is not even supposed to be associated with. So that's pretty much the background of who Amelia Bird is, for those of you who do not know. Now, even Ryan said that Gypsy told him she was pregnant. So, I mean, everybody can't be lying on Gypsy. We're getting somewhere. We're starting to close in, guys. Now, some people even think that Gypsy may not even be pregnant, y'all. I heard of people talking about phantom pregnancy. It's actually called pseudosiesis, and basically, the easier way of saying it is just phantom pregnancy. It's basically when a person believes they are pregnant, it's basically used by the mind. But what's really crazy is the mind is a powerful thing because with pseudosiesis, you actually can gain weight. Like, you can have pregnancy symptoms, y'all. Everything that you would have. And you even look pregnant in some cases. I mean, this is crazy. Some people think that she may even have the phantom pregnancy. Now, some people may get the phantom pregnancy mixed up with the cryptic pregnancy. A cryptic pregnancy is basically when you don't find out that you're pregnant until later on in your pregnancy or maybe up into your delivery. So with the cryptic pregnancy, you're pretty much not having any symptoms okay with the phantom pregnancy there's no baby in there but you have all the symptoms so some people think that this is what could be going on with gypsy so we're just gonna have to wait it out guys only time would tell but it would not surprise me if she wasn't pregnant at all like it really wouldn't if i found out that she lied about it i would not be like oh my god i would be like there she go again. See? I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on the whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys.